Donald Trump himself has said the real verdict will be delivered by the American people in November, when he faces off against President Joe Biden. Nigel Farage has reacted angrily after his friend, former U.S. President Donald Trump, was convicted on 34 charges of falsifying business records in New York. And the ex UKIP leader has claimed the disgraceful verdict would simply propel the New Yorker to victory over Joe Biden in November as he seeks a sensational return to the White House after a four year absence. Donald Trump became the first former president to be convicted of felony crimes as a New York jury found him guilty in relation to a scheme to illegally influence the 2016 election through hush money payments to porn actor Stormy Daniels, who claims the two had sex in 2006. Mr. Trump himself raged against his conviction afterwards and will say more later today at Trump Tower, where he lives. However, in the meantime, Mr. Farage, who has campaigned alongside the 77-year-old at his rallies, leapt to his defense on social media. The former MEP, now a host on GB News, posted on Nex, this verdict is a disgrace. Trump will now win big. Key to the case was former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen's payment of £100,000 $130,000, to Ms. Daniels in exchange for not going public with her claim about the sexual encounter. Prosecutors said the reimbursements were falsely logged as legal expenses to hide the true nature of the transactions. The charges Trump faces are punishable by up to four years in prison. He has denied any wrongdoing and had pleaded not guilty. Speaking outside the court minutes after the jury handed down its verdict, Mr. Trump insisted, I am a very innocent man. We have a country that's in big trouble, but this was a rigged decision right from day one, with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case. He also said the real verdict would be believed by voters in the autumn. Stateside allies also offered their backing, with Utah Senator Mike Lee saying, Congratulations, progressives. You've just guaranteed Trump's election. House Speaker Mike Johnson described it as a shameful day in American history, adding that the charges were purely political. Mr. Farage is a vocal supporter of Mr. Trump, and took a swipe at incumbent Mr. Biden earlier this week during an interview on Good Morning Britain. Asked by Richard Madeley if he continued to back the billionaire, Mr. Farage said, absolutely 100%. The world was a much safer place with Donald Trump as president. Weak leadership from Biden has given an open door to Putin, to the Chinese, to the Iranians, to Hamas, indeed, all of our aggressors. We need Trump back in the White House, we need a stronger relationship with him, we need NATO and the rest of the members to pay their way. We will be a much safer place and you know, it matters, because we're in a worse place than we've been since the Cuban Missile Crisis of over 60 years ago.